Good afternoon, everyone. Sorry for the delay. I was aiming to start at 2 p.m., but I was doing some editing some YouTube videos, so it took a bit longer. But, um, oh, and I've even got my Everton shirt on, so this is going to be really confusing. Um, at some point, I'll go and change it into the Newcastle one. But yeah, anyway, right, let's get started. Uh, I just need to get out my Everton save. Load up the Newcastle one. I hope everyone's having a nice day today. Uh, feel free to say hello in the chat if you're on there. At some point, my mate Josh will be there. Starving work. Josh, if you're in there, say hello. Um, yeah. Uh, let's get Newcastle save loaded up. So where you left us last, we were starting the season three. And we're just doing the pre-season. We've pretty much already done our transfers. So... Um, Got rid of a few players as well. A few of them wanted to leave. A few of them weren't happy about um, not playing. But yeah, transfer history if we do that. Total, and then we'll go previous season. We'll scroll down to here. So we signed Deli Ali. I usually sign him in every save I do. We signed this player, Quill, Quill Dishy Hartman. Signed. Antonelli, Antonelli Rubin. We also signed Diego Costa, so that's the goalkeeper sorted. Um, we signed this player, Amadou Dante, wing back cover on the left side. We signed Anderson Durate, who was pretty good in previous FM, uh, FM24 saves for me, and Luciano Rodriguez as well, who's a very good player in the making. He will give us a bit of South American class. And then we signed this gentleman here, Michael Coyote. Very, very talented right back. So yeah, so that's basically it. We wanted to improve wing backs and goalkeepers positions. We've managed to do it. We are pretty much our transfer windows over. But you never know. If we get a few more sales down the road, it might give us more money to do it. Um, we're not sending out Isaac on loan. I don't Isaac, I don't know why they're trying this. I mean, it's a good offer, actually, in hindsight, but um, I'm going to do a non-negotiable 50 million there, non-negotiable 30 million there, and they'll probably reject it, so that'll be the end of that. Yeah, so that's that. That's that sorted into bugger off. And we've got 10 point, 10 and a half off of Lewis Hall. We'll accept that. Right, Josh. How you signed Truven on? Uh, see, there you go. Yeah, well, Costa is going to go for that type of money. I think we all would as well. But um, no, I'm glad you're doing well with Newcastle. How are you getting on? What's Are you in your first season still? Or? Let's see if we can negotiate that one. Let's see if we can negotiate that. Uh, mm, yeah, so we'll accept it. We'll get we'll get somebody better in. Finish your second season, bloody hell! You're doing you're doing quicker than me. Um, you won the league league cup and bloody hell, you're doing better than me, Josh. Then again, you always used to do better than me on FM when we used to play our head to heads. You used to always beat me. So um, we've had an offer for Kieran Trippier. I think I'll accept that because he's getting on a bit um let's see if we can get mm, see if we can buy him um 20 million 10 million percent yep there we go um Oh, your first season you came eighth. Yeah, it is pretty... Di I mean, I don't know why I managed to do it in first season, to be honest. I got given 90 million in January, though, so that helped. I signed... Um, I can't remember who I signed. Who did I sign in January, the first season? Transfer history. Right, so let's have a look. We'll go across to that. And then we'll do January. Oh, so here you go. Uh, yeah, it was towards the end of the season. So we got Makuko on, Makoko on loan, who did well for us. Um, Ali Coop did well as well, and then we got Mancini, who was really good in defence for us. So yeah, so that's helped. But yeah, it is a bit difficult in the first season. 
Um, yeah, but at least in the second season now, you've got Tenali back. Yeah, I think I think there's a bit of a bug where there's been a lot of injuries lately. So, yeah, I'm glad you're doing well, mate. Um, yeah. We might be signing Albert Lewin. We've signed Rian Brewster. Um, I just see him as a player that can just be a emergency backup really if we're really desperate it was kind of a rubbish signing by me really to be honest i should have scouted him first but if worse comes to worse we can sell him for five or six million we we you know he didn't sign he didn't um didn't cost us anything this one's more of a, a significant signing dominic calvin calvert lewin sorry um on a free transfer good little player we can play up front if need be Oh yeah, I don't think we're going to have many more transfers, to be honest. I think Udoki might, Udoki might be the next one, really. Yeah, second season, I think I got 220 million as well. You get, I think you get the same in the third season, which I was surprised at because my finances weren't the best. So, but don't quote me on that because I can't remember now. Um, but I think you do get about 200 million. I think you get 200 million every season, really. Uh, Inter's keen on Gazaves. Well, they can bugger off because he's not going. Get him on a new contract. Hello to anybody else in the Twitch chat. Feel free to say hello. I had a loan offer for Luciano Rodriguez. Probably not going to play any first team football, so I'll just I'll just accept it. Let it happen. Aspira. Um. These two players, Rodriguez and Aspira, could. Would eventually get into the first team, but send them out on. We'll see if any loan offers come in. All right, that's that done. Let's get to the next day. You get another what in your third season? Yeah, I thought you meant. Did you get any? Did you get any money in January of season two? Because I didn't get any money in January of season two, which was really annoying. Despite the fact that I had one hundred and fifty million in the bank. I seem to get rid of Target to save our life here. Right. Um, offer him out. Just we just got to keep trying and hope that somebody somebody will make a significant offer. He sold Almiron. Well, that's brave. Almiron was really good for me in my first season. I didn't sell him. I don't think he's done well this since then. Has he? Have a look. You might have uh, you might have done the right thing in hindsight, actually, because I don't think he did particularly well. Um, he did all right second season. I think we can get. I think we'll sell him actually. To be honest, now you put the idea in me. Head. Get rid of some of the older players, replace them with younger players. But yeah, you probably got a decent deal there, selling Almiron for sixty million. He, he plays he plays well in the first season and then I think he kind of just he's all right he did all right in the second season don't get me wrong but um well that's a nice offer it's six million for target we'll take that target will probably reject it though annoyingly target rejects that move to Torino I'm just going to try and send him out alone right Trippier is left round of applause for Trippier doing well um did well for us was a good servant to the club his time was up. We could do with getting a right back in though. Um, well, we got Coyote, haven't we? We got any other right backs though if Coyote gets injured? Uh, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out as we go along. Hello to the other people in the chat. Um, hope you're okay. Hope you're having a nice day. No, I've got. I mean, I'm getting rid of Target, but I've got. I'm going to bring in Destiny Yudogi, hopefully. Um, I have got another left back, but I can't think who it is. Um, I've got Libramento actually, you can play right back. So I've got Libramento and KOD as right back options. Um, Lewis Miley is wanted again. Send him out alone again, I think. Eventually, we're going to have to pull the trigger on him and just play him in the first team like he's playing in real life, but. I try, he, in the first season, Lewis Marley was moaning because I wasn't accepting any loan offers. He's another good player as well, Minte. 
I wanted to play Miley and Minty, but I know they're going to moan if I don't let them go out on loan. Uh... Uh, offer him a new contract. Has he played well enough to be deserving a new contract, does he? Did he do well last season? Yeah, he did all right. He, he deserves a new contract, I suppose. Yeah, I've got a dogey. Alba is... I don't think Alba's there now. I think he's gone, Alba. I think I got rid of him. Oh, yeah, Syria. What you should do is do what I did and do that mystery shirt thing, Josh, and just ask for an Italian Serie A team. And then whichever team they give you, whichever shirt they give you for that team, you you can manage them. There. I got, um, I don't know if I told you, but I got Rafe Rovers. So I got a Rafe Rovers shirt as my mystery shirt. So my next save on YouTube after I finish with my Everton save is going to be um, save with Rafe Rovers. So that'll be interesting for YouTube. I got I got given a pink shirt i can't remember if you look on my youtube channel there's a reveal photo on there a review a re there a unveil video um and then because there was a cock up they sent me another one but they sent me the same shirt so i've got to return that at some point but they also sent me a golden ticket so i've got this called a golden ticket from surprise shirts i don't know if you can see that well let me have a look see if you can see it on camera um I need to focus. How do you get it? Anyway, um, yeah, that's what they wrote. I need to go down, don't I? I need to pull that down. No, where am I going? There we go. No? Oh, my God. Nightmare trying to get this. There we go. So I've got a golden ticket. I thought it was enough. For some reason, I thought they sent me two shirts because... Um, basically, I copped up on the postal code for my address, so they sent me another shirt out. I've got to send that back. But they also sent me this book as well, called The Idiot's Guide to Owning a Football Club. So I reckon, Josh, what we need to do is we need to we need to buy a football club. That's what we need to do next. Once I start making the millions from from this and YouTube, we'll invest in a uh, football club. Do you think Brighton will let us buy them? Do you reckon we can buy Brighton? What we'll do with Brighton, we'll just sign any wonder kid on Football Manager that will sign up for Brighton in real life, which is basically what they're doing at the moment anyway. Um, and then we'll just sell them on and we'll pocket the profit and we'll reinvest it. We'll make billions, mate. Billions. This time next year, we'll be millionaires, Rodney. Sign Nathaniel Phillips as well, back up in defence. He probably won't play, but if we get some really bad injuries in defence, he can do a job. Uh, add him to the shortlist. Add an offer for Ben Clark. No, we won't sell you. You're a good prospect. Um, Reese Bryan, Reese Byrne, whatever his name is. We can get a better deal for you, and we will sell you. But if you don't, there we go. We're happy with that. So some of the youngsters we're never going to play. Make some extra money. Like I said, it's not a long-term save, so it don't really matter. Yeah, my dad loves Only Fools and Horses. It's, 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 it, my dad literally watches 99% sport, and then the only thing he watches on TV that isn't sport is um, is um, Only Fools and Horses. So every year I get him an Only Fools and Horses birthday card and Christmas card. So Isaac forgot we accepted an offer from Real Madrid. He goes to Real Madrid. How much did we get him for him? 49 million, and too bad. That, so that means we now need to get... So after I thought our transfer window was over, we're now going to have to buy Striker. Who can we get for 50 million? We can we can kind of... Let's have a look, see if we can get uh, an absolute superstar Striker. And that. So we'll go Striker. We'll go Dance Forward, let's say. Um... See who the go for comfort maybe. Go for comfort. Try interacting with the board, see if they'll buy them for us. Yep, there we go. Comfort's coming in. That was quick and easy, wasn't it? Comfort's coming in. 
remember him being a decent player back in the day for other teams he played for before he went to Wolves. It'll be sad to see Isaac go, but at the end of the day, he won his first team football and when you got Osimhen in there. I think Comfort might be a, um, a slight upgrade maybe in certain areas to Isaac. Maybe a downgrade in other areas, we'll see. Do you think uh, Kumpf is a good replacement for Isaac, Josh? With a 72 million offer accepted for him. He can play in an attacking position as well. He's really good at dribbling, finishing. He's got good aggression that might come back to haunt us though. Uh, good determination, good flair, good technique. So he'll be very skillful on the ball. So hopefully he'll, he'll be um, fans all of him. How did he do for Wolves? Uh, he did it right actually last season he scored 15 goals in 32 games yeah so hopefully he'll he'll be good he's only 26 as well yep so we've got gonzalez on new contract we've got can't sign him now can we hold on if i just delay it for now we'll sell somebody we'll be able to get the money for him yeah austin m's good for me i don't uh is that kareem is that kareem Kanate? I remember Kareem Anate when he was playing for um, the team in Ghana or what it was, because I think I was, yeah, I think I was managing them or something. No, I brought him in on, um, no, I signed him from one of my French league saints. I literally scouted all of, yeah, I scouted all of, um, all of Africa for hidden gems and Kanate was one of them that come up. And then it was nice to see in real life he's done well. Um, I got 49 million for Isaac, by the way. So yeah, Almiron rejects the deal for Valencia, so we're going to have to try and offer him out again. Hiring into Murdery, no. Uh, do that, let's offer some of his wage. Offer 40k of his wage. How's Kanate been for you? How many goals has he got for you so far? Right, so um, loan offers for Real. Luciano Rodriguez is going to Bologna on loan. Hopefully, he can do well there. We get match reports for him. Or oh, match reports, there we go. Evan at Ferguson has gone to Nottingham Forest from Brighton. He'd have thought he'd have aimed higher than them, but yeah. Good sign for not Nottingham Forest, though. Oh, okay. I might, I'm, maybe I should look at Kareem Bloody Canate now. Now you've put the idea in me. I can't sign him, but I'll add him to my shortlist. I'm obviously going, oh, he's playing for Brentford at the moment, so he's only just signed for them by the looks of it. I know he signed for... Um, He's not done that well, actually. Well, I'll add him to the shortlist. One goal in four games for Brentford, so... But I never trust the AI anyway, because they're not very good at creating good players on here. Right. Uh, we'll get rid of him, because he's not done that well in the end. Send you out on loan, because you just do me head in. Right, you're going out on loan as well. Uh, Griezmann? Is Griezmann, uh, Griezmann's transfer listed? We can't sign him, but... Fuck, how many, uh, wages he on? He's not on, he's not, he, we can sign him, we just don't have the money. Oh, now I want to sign Griezmann. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to cancel the, the Kuhn, the C-U-N-H-A, I don't, I don't want to get that name wrong. In case I end up insulting people. Right, okay. So we've got that. So we're going to sign Anthony Griezmann. There you go. Hopefully we will have enough wage in there. Um, we'll delay that for now because that's a weird one. Where's all that money gone? Right, can we sign Griezmann? Uh, he wants double his wages, the greedy git. Um, 
Where's all that money gone? We had 55 million a second ago. I cancelled the coup. The, the, definitely cancel it. A weird one. Yeah, I cancelled it. So. Oh. I wish I hadn't cancelled it now. I ain't going to be outside and grease either. I haven't got the money. Um. I just like the players that just that just that are known to do it. I don't really like taking taking risks on players like Kuna. I can't sign him now. I'm gonna to have to look to try and sell a player. Who can I sell? I can't sign. I can't sell some of the players because I've already signed them. Um, like him, for instance, I've signed him on a free transfer. Signed him on a free transfer. He's going for six million, which ain't gonna be enough. Uh, see if I can sell him, Cotes. Maybe the board will agree to push the deal through. Despite the fact that I haven't got the money, you never know. Um, maybe we could get a decent deal for our run. Ali Koo, he... I don't know if he's... I think he's... I think he's a real player. Let me just... Let me just double check. Plays for... Um, Right, Ali Coot. Yeah, so Ali Coot's a Scottish player. In real life, he plays for Detroit City. He was playing for Bohemians. Um, he's a Dundee United player originally. He went to Brentford B team, then Waterford in Ireland, Bohemians. And I signed him for Newcastle because the scouts said he'd come up pretty good. And he did all right, actually. He's done all right for me. Uh, nobody wants to sign Almiron. That's really annoying. Somebody sign him, please. I want, I want him, I want him out. But yeah, I'll just quickly show you Ali Coot on here. I'll find him. Where have you gone? Oh, there we go, Ali Coot. So that's Ali Coot, Scottish international. Um, probably overrated on FM on here for some reason, but yeah, signed him for seven hundred and fifty grand from Bohemians. Um, scored a couple of goals in his first season. He was a bit of a hidden gem when I first signed him. And he's he's not really played. He's only played eleven games last season. Uh, I think I might move him on. Actually, to be honest, yeah, I think he needs to go. He's not going to get first team football here. I can't get um, too into too into certain players. I need to just go. Yeah, that's what I mean. If I make ten million on him, then uh, I can't go wrong with that, can I? Yeah. I want to try and free up some money to sign Griezmann now. That's the narrative that is, is to get is to get Griezmann in to play alongside Messi and um Amashem. Because you can always sign these players, you can always sign these young players afterwards. You've only got a couple of years with the old players, so you might as well. Yeah, we'll do an online save at some point, Josh. Um, I don't. I don't want to have the time for a while now, though. Unless we do it as a uh, streaming thing, could always do it as a streaming thing, mate. It's just you've just got to make sure that you've got the time to do it. You're a bit busy, aren't you? Oh my god, targets rejected again. Would target just bugger off? Just doesn't want to go, does he? He just won't give up. Target, you go in. Even if I've got to release you from your contract to free up your wage, you go in. Yeah, hello to anybody else. Um, hope me and Josh's conversation is not too off-putting for you. <laughs> We're just two friends that are just catching up, basically. Telling me about his Newcastle save. Uh, yeah, that's that. No. Yeah, we can look into it. You just got to make sure you got the time frame. We can do it once. I, once I, I know that you're available, I'll um, I'll figure it out. We can always do it. We could always do it once a week or something on Twitch on a on a Friday or something. Whenever you've got a, do you have a regular day off or it just varies week by week? Um. No offers for Almiron Cotes or Ali Coop. 
but we will persevere and we will just hope that somebody eventually will sign him. Keep doing this and eventually somebody will do it. Ali Coop as well, we'll offer him out again. Um, his value has gone down to 6.6 .6 million now, which is typical. Uh, we'll just do that. That. Um, Cotez as well. His wage demand, so we'll try and hire an intermediary. No, they don't want to know. No. Okay, that's that. That's that done. Um, had a few offers for him, so we'll just accept them. Right, Bilko. Yeah, nice one. Um, yeah, Bilko. I, I, I basically. 2 p.m. most weekdays, Monday to Friday. So yeah, you'll have to uh, come around next time and, and next time you're free. But yeah, I appreciate you, your support, mate. Thank you. Um, yeah, Josh, just give me a couple of weeks and let me figure it out first because I've got these other saves. I'm going to start soon. So once I've made, well, give it like a month or so and I'll, I'll figure it out with you. But don't worry, we'll sort it at some point. Uh, yeah. I'll just try and get pre-season done now as quickly as possible. Zach Giggs, Ryan Giggs' is, uh, son, I think. Highly rated on here, by the looks of it. Target, nobody wants to go for bloody Target now. Um, let's try and send out Target out on loan, see if that'll do anything. Yeah, so we're only going to get loan offers from now, so we just got to insist on... Mandatory fee. Try seven and a half. No, we'll try six million. And we'll do do that. And we'll do that. And I hope for the best, really. Yeah, no, I appreciate it, Bilko. You just sent the same message. Oh no, sorry. Bilko, apologize. I thought you wrote another message then. <laughs> yeah, sorry, mate. Carry on. Um, yeah, Josh, we'll definitely we could do like a Spanish league save again. I haven't done a save with Valencia for a while. Hopefully they're not financially as bad as they were when we did that save all them years ago. Why are we accepting loan offers for him? We might as well just sell him. Right, we'll sell him as well. We'll get rid of all of them. Sod it. I want Griezmann in. I'm going to make it happen. Uh, uh. This one, this episode is going to be a bit of a rubbish one, really, because we're just trying to get pre-season done. But um, I mean, I could have done this offline, and then we could have started the season. I could have just done an, uh, a quick overview, but I think some people like it when I just go through this and like to see the transfers as they're going through. Uh, yeah, so we'll just do it that way for now. If obviously if people start wanting it to be different, let me know. Um, I have been doing edited videos for my Everton save, so I'm getting the oh, I'm getting the hang of that now. There we go. I'm just fell then. Put it back. Yep. How many English players do you need? Um, yeah, I don't know. I might have to. I mean, I've got. I did. I have I signed a few. I think I signed a few English players. I might have to sign some more then, as you said. Um, we're we're only getting loan offers for him, and I'm not happy about that. So, um, where is he? Right, you're only going to give us. That. No, we're going to reject that as well. Okay. Uh, right, let's see what else. Clark. Uh, ben Clark. You want Ben Clark, you're going to have to give me a million pounds. A million pounds? A million pounds, come on. A million pounds. Let's try. Um... Oh, go on then. Right. Um, we've had loan offers for Cotes with no wages. So this one's a decent offer, I suppose. 
I'm going to sign him though. Um, no, I want to sell him. I don't want to loan him unless it comes with a transfer fee. Right, you're not happy. I'm not happy. You're still here. So we'll just offer you out again. You out? Buy it? No. No. You out? We'll do some of the wage contribution. There we go. Hope for the best now. Nobody wants Ali Coot as well. Better keep trying. Hope for the best. Right, let's check the chat. Right, Joe. No, you're never going to know who I am. Tough. You already know who I am. <laughs> Um, I'll do a hot tub. I'll do a hot tub stream at some point if I get a hundred. If I get a hundred k subs, I will do a hot tub stream. Joe, we'll have to do that for our birthday thing. As you're on here, you can answer me because I messaged you on Facebook yesterday. You didn't message me. What are we doing about our birthday, Joe? Any ideas? Hot tub, hot tub stream for your birthday, yeah? Okay. Are we going to do something for for our birthday? Because um. For people watching that don't know, me and Joe have our birthday round about the same time. So, um, so, yeah, so I would like to do something for my birthday. If obviously, it's Joe's as well, so I don't want to just take over. So, yeah, so what are, we doing for you? what are we doing for our birthday then, Joe? Come on, I'm open to suggestions. Should we go, should we go dogging? Dogging? Strip club? Okay, I was thinking dogging. Okay. Um, no, I'm joking, by the way. Um, da -da -da, target. Okay, yeah, I'll just accept these. All right. Both. Okay, fair enough. Jokes aside, what do you want to do for, for our birthday? Have you got anywhere? In, do you want to go somewhere for the weekend? I'm thinking you could go Manchester or Liverpool for the weekend, or do you want to just do a night out closer? Something like that? I don't know. Inbox me on Facebook about it. I don't want you giving too much away about who I am and where I live and stuff like that. You see, I'm trying to keep um, keep my myself anonymous, even though literally everybody that that's on my Twitch knows me personally. <laughs> so yeah, I'll let you have a think. Just inbox me on Facebook, Joe. When you've had a, when, there's plenty of time. We've got like six months away yet, but yeah, just let me know. Oh, so we did sign Kunfa. That's why we couldn't sign Griezmann. I cancelled the deal, though. Oh, well. Doesn't look like we're going to be signing Griezmann, then. Register him. Gosh, you saw me cancel that deal on here. So why is it still gone through? We've got no money to sign Griezmann, then. I hope the board will just let me put the deal through. They probably won't, sadly. We got any transfer things to cash out? No. Transfers out. We're not really bringing any money in. So, ah, oh, that's annoying. Yeah, I did cancel it. Um, Josh, you're welcome to come to the birthday thing if you can come from all the way from Brighton. Apparently, we're going dogging. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad. Um, I'm glad that my partner, my lovely girlfriend, has got her headphones on upstairs, so she can't hear this conversation. I think Emily would be horrified if she heard this. Anybody watching on YouTube um, when I when I put this on YouTube later, I do apologise. <laughs> I hope this doesn't get me uh, in trouble. Yeah, if you're still if you're still there, Joe, have a think. Let me know. Like I said, I won't, I won't, I won't mention it now until at least March, and then I'll start bugging you every week in March. Let me know what you want to do. The sooner you figure out what you want to do, the better, because I'll just get more and more anxious about it. I would like to go for somewhere like Manchester for the weekend, but I can do that with my lovely girlfriend, and we could always just go out for a night out somewhere local. Not Redditch though, because Redditch is, um, you know, it's a bit of an awkward one, isn't it? Middle of nowhere. I don't mind going to Redditch, by the way. I'm just joking. I'm just winding you up. Right. 
them to the shortlist. My favourite Italian team is going to, there's quite a few, but it's AC Milan, probably followed by Parma. Parma, back in the day. Uh, I like, I like, I always like the Italian teams for their football shirts. I just feel like they've always had the best football shirts, really. Oh, Liverpool's going for Barco. They ain't got the money for him anyway. Boca Juniors are going to make an absolute fortune on him when they sell him. And they're going for him. Bloody hell, Liverpool, they're not spending the money. Joe, you'll be happy. Your team, Liverpool, spend the money on here. Yeah, don't worry, mate. Yeah, just let me yeah, just let me know on Facebook, Joe. There's no rush. Oh yeah, Fiorentina with Batastuta back in the day. Little uh Lazio used to have a good teams back in the day. Inter Milan, Juventus. So many good players there back in the day. Italian football. I used to love Italian football on Channel 4. Go Lazio. Ah, that was good. Um, right, let's see. Oh, nothing we can do. We're just going to skip forward now. Just skip ahead. Yeah, some great players play for it in the Italian league. Such a shame it's not as big as it used to be. I suppose once the Premiership come along, they didn't have a chance really, did they? They had their moments, but... Yeah. Um, I didn't. Luciano Rodriguez came off the bench and showed some brief glimpses of quality. That's good to hear. I'll be gutted if we can't sign Griezmann now. I don't want to send him out on loan. Right. Oh. That. Let people know he's unavailable for loan. And we'll offer him out. And hopefully somebody will go for him. I'm annoyed because we've got all these... Oh, there we go. Delayed. Uh, I thought we signed him then. Uh, doesn't look like we're signing him at any point. What's his wage like? Oh, that's why we can't get rid of him. Look at it. Oh, what, what a stupid mistake by me. Um, can we get rid of anybody else? I don't think we can. I don't think we're going to sign. I don't think we're going to sign Griezmann by the looks of it. If we get rid of anybody, it's it's going to be the short in other areas. And we can only really get rid of players that are just never going to play for us. Peter, maybe, but he's not. But he's he's not he's not good enough. So we'll just try and get some money for him. Peter. Um. I always think of when I think of the name Peter. I always think of Alan Partridge when he goes, "Don't be blue, Peter." There you go. The Alan Partridge. There. Uh, that as well, just to get him away. All right, can we sell? Can we sell anybody else? I don't want to sell Delhi. Well, I'm not going to sell Delhi Ali because he only just joined. He won't. We can't get rid of him. Uh, reason and start. Can we get rid of. I know we tried. No, no interest. The target had bids. Not Mbappe. No, Mbappe is pretty good actually. To be honest. Oh, I don't know. We'll just have to leave this up. Yeah, we could do an Italian save, mate. Yeah. You never know. We might be able to find a... Josh, we might be able to find a data file where we can... Um, I don't know, like a 2003 data file or something, and we can just start an Italian league save in there. Oh. Um, oh, hold on. Sorry about that. There we go. Oh. Let's say, just stay, stay there. Stay there. Stay. Stay. Hold on. I mean, that this is right. It's because I had it there last earlier, didn't I? Okay, that'll do. Yeah, that'll do. As long as you can see my ugly mug in the mask. Yeah, right. Target, we finally got rid of Target. Hallelujah, there is a God. Maybe I'll have to wait until January to sign Griezmann. Hopefully, if I get more money. I suppose I think that's going to be it, though, when it comes to the transfer window. 
Unless we get some surprise offers out of nowhere. Oh, oh actually, we get... Oh, that's not enough. Well, we'll accept it because it's better than nothing. Still offer him out and then... We'll offer him out for 15 million and we'll do that. And we'll do that. Hopefully somebody will be stupid enough to pay us for that. Do that. Buy some with the wage. There we go. 4.6 million for Peter. Keep your fingers crossed, uh, Josh. Let's see if we can make this happen. Oh, we found, Oh, we bloody have as well. But that's, that's a result, isn't it? That means we can reject the other rubbish offer that we had for Anderson. From them. There we go. We might, might just about have enough for Griezmann. Keep your fingers crossed. Watch this space. In for time. Uh, yeah, we're doing 41 minutes. Hello to everybody else in the Twitch chat. If you're just a, somebody that doesn't know me on a personal level, please, please feel free to say hello in the chat. Not that I don't appreciate the people that I know. Right, okay, let's get back on with the stream. There we go. Anderson on the move, apparently. Uh, oh, still can't get rid of Cotes. Right. Loan. We'll, we want, we'll go 30% because we don't think, I don't think we're going to get much more than that. Um, mandatory. Oh, we can't. I think he's retiring. I think that's why we can't get rid of him. He'll be retiring at the end of the season. Oh, Mancini, we can get rid of Mancini, hopefully. Get rid of Mancini, that'll definitely give us a good chance of signing Griezmann. But I don't think anybody wants to go for him. Let's do that. Hopefully that'll help. Uh, yeah, we'll accept that. Convince Peter. There we go, that's that. Mission is to sign Griezmann. We're going to sign him by the end of this window if it kills me. Enzo Fernandez. He'd be a good signer. We ain't got the money for him though. Come on, let's uh, let's get some of these players out quickly enough. This uh, Al Medina logo looks exactly like uh, Juventus's logo. Dodgy. Uh, he wants to go out on loan, so we'll send him out on loan. Okay, um, no, you're definitely, definitely going to give us a wage for him. Not going to get away with that. Nice try, though. Okay, so yeah, okay, so now we're going to do that and then that. Uh, that. Come on, don't be, don't be difficult. Um, let's just. Fine, whatever. Right, we'll accept that. Okay. Um, I'm determined to sign Griezmann now. It's my mission. I want to get the All Star teams back. Anthony, who's Anthony Martial playing for? He's playing really well for me in my Everton save, by the way. Anthony Martial. Oh, he went to Caligari. That's a shame. I'd have signed him if I could get away with it. Uh, add him to the shortlist. Yeah, in my Everton save, he's got 10 goals in 15 games so far. He's doing really well, to be honest. I was quite surprised how well he did. I thought he'd get injured every five, every two, day, two games. Looks... Got it. I'm just going to get Cotes out the door now, because he's too me, I do. Um... Playing Juventus next in a friendly. Except them. Um, at this point, we're just getting out the door. Ah, oh, nobody wants Mancini. Why don't anybody want Mancini? He's a really good centre defender as well. Uh, 
we just say 15 million lock it in and we do not oh yeah sporting lisbon just ridiculous um yeah i might do once i get bored of my offline save with people rovers i might do a, an offline save with sport in lisbon um just do like a youth only save where you don't you don't buy anybody you just you just keep producing players from the youth academy might be a good save i don't think it'll be interesting enough to do it as a uh content creation save really because i think loads of people are probably doing it already yeah, they are. Yeah, I would bring back Ronaldo, but the thing is, he retires after one season in the game. Because I tried to bring back, I tried to bring back Ronaldo. Um, well, I tried to bring him to Newcastle in season two, but he retired. I couldn't do it. It's just, and he's not going to leave in the first season that that team at Saudi Arabia because he's only just joined from. So you, you're pretty much screwed. You ain't going to be able to sign Ronaldo. Might be able to bring Ronaldo as, as staff though. Bring him back as staff though. Like a manager of the under twenty ones or something. Um, in fact, if I just type in Ronaldo on here, he's still here. He might have just retired. Here, yeah. oh, hold on then. Cristiano Ronaldo. Hope I've spelled that right. Oh, he's there. Yeah, so he's a manager, but he's not very good. I mean, I mean, I wouldn't want him in charge of my under twenty ones. Um, he's a perfectionist though, but he wouldn't be. He wouldn't be good as a coach. He's not good as a manager. He's just not. He's he's good. With, he's okay with working with youngsters. He's got good adaptability and determination. But yeah, his overall skill set's not very good. Yeah, uh, Guy Corres is doing really well for sporting in real life. They they they're gonna they're gonna sell him for a big bunch of money either in January or probably in the summer. But that'll be good for Coventry as well, because I assume they've got a clause in place where they probably get like a certain profit of the next sale. So uh, they did quite well to sell him as it is. I don't, I can't remember. I think they got like twenty million for him. It's a rid ridiculous amount of money for a championship team like them. Is it championship? Is it? I don't know. Uh, Dio Corres. Okay. Uh, how much did they sign him for? Yeah, 20 million plus 4 million in bonuses. So, um, and then Coventry are also owed 10 to 15 percent of the profit. And the release cost was set at 100 million. So, if they get him for like, if basically if somebody signs Dio Corey's for say 100 million, Coventry get an extra 10 to 15 million. So, uh, that's a good little deal for them. They sold him for 20 million plus 4 million in bonuses. That's a good deal. The Coventry City is another save I wouldn't mind doing as a youth only save because that'd be really difficult. Well, not youth only, but you can't you can't spend any money on any players or something like that and any sign free transfers because that's what I did years ago and that was like my favourite football manager save ever. Because you had to every season you literally had no money, and you had to sell your best players to balance the books and then you had to replace them with free transfers and hope hope that they worked out. Oh yeah. Affiliate club, try and get one to give us more money commercially. Oh yeah, I forgot we've got loads of affiliates at Newcastle. Right, okay, that's that done. Um, yeah, they would have got some of that, but Coventry would have probably will get more if he goes somewhere else. But yeah, it was a bit of a. I'm surprised Brighton got uh, got rid of. But if he ain't going to get first team football, he'd have to go. Just how it is. Footballers want to play. Right. Former, a former Blackburn midfielder, Billy McKinley comes in. Good, good tactical uh, choice there. Right. And then Anderson goes for fifteen million. So, how much does that leave us in the transfer? So we've only got nineteen million. Um, have we sold? No, we haven't. Uh, we ain't gonna have enough for bloody Griezmann. 
Unless we can adjust the budgets, but I don't think they'll let us do that. Uh, who can we get rid of? Bottom wants to go, but nobody's willing to pay the money for him. We'll try and get rid of Botman. It does mean I'm going to have to get another central defender in, though, if I, if I do. But, yeah, let's try. Try Botman. If we get rid of Botman, we'll just keep Mancini. That's, that's just how it'll work out. Um, it's Joe Linton's time up at Newcastle. I like Joe Linton, though. He's fan favourite. I don't really want to get rid of him. I'm not going to get rid of him. Right, we'll leave that for now. Um, okay. Oh, I've got a feeling we're not going to sign Griezmann now. Can't think of anybody else to sell that's in the team. That's the problem. We've, we've got a small squad, really. Monique after Caicedo. Um, we are Comfort is we've got two players in the top goal score rods, so that's good. Hopefully, means Comfort's gonna come in and make a really big impact. Him and Osim Osimhen can get like twenty goals each. They're not going to play every game, so there'll be games where Kung Fu will be playing and Ossium's not able to play. Uh... Yeah, I don't. I like Joe Linton though, and I think New, New. I just feel like it's wrong getting rid of Joe Linton. Newcastle fans love him. Oh God, our first Premiership game of the season is Man City away. That's for worst opening fixture if we tried. Oh well, at least we get it out of the way. Uh, you know what? I'm going to try and sell him. Oh, I can't because I just offered him out on loan. Oh well. Um, right, Cortez is gone. Barco went to Liverpool and he had for fifty million. He's an look at that. Really, really should wish we signed him though. We should have signed him instead of that. We start, instead of signing him, we signed two rubbish left backs just to give us cover. Right, we've got 20 million. Can we, can we get no? We can't get an increase on that. Can we cash in any clauses? No, we can't. That's annoying because we've got quite a few here. Come in handy. Oh, Josh, I don't think we're signing Griezmann, mate. Just got to keep our fingers crossed. Might have to cancel the deal and maybe wait a little bit and then go for him again and try and structure the deal a bit better so it benefits us a little bit easier. See, nobody wants to go for... Man City not signing Botman because of the wages is ridiculous. And his value's gone down to 31 million now, which is ridiculous. We're going to... 60 million. Oh, no, no. Uh, that. Do that. And then we'll just reduce the wages and hope for the best. He is on high wage, though, to be honest. Okay, so that's that. So we've got higher odds for the top player in the Premier League. So none of our players are in there, which is weird. Uh, Cameron Archer will add him to the shortlist because he's a really good player. Oh, okay, you don't use a centre midfielder, fair enough. Don't blame you. Uh, we'll forget that. Um, are we still are we still got Griezmann potentially coming in? Yeah, we have. We ain't got no. Done. Didn't we try and get rid of that Peter and he had an offer? Has he rejected the offer? Can we get rid of Peter? Where is he? Oh, he'll be here somewhere in the inbox. There we go. Um, Notts County with a loan off is a bit rubbish. Right.
Oh, Dan. Yeah, hot tub stream. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Me, me and you, me and you, me and you, Big Dan. Me, you and Joe, hot tub stream. We'll do that, mate. I'll teach you how to play football manager live on stream in the hot tub. There you go. I know how much you love football. <laughs> Just me. I mean, yeah, I mean, I would take up the hot tub all on my own, I suppose. Um, if I get a fa if I get 100,000 subs, then yeah. So, you know 100,000 people between, between the few of you. You know, Bilko's probably got about 10,000 people on his Facebook friends list. Um, yeah, just uh, get them to subscribe to me, mate. That's all we need to do. Get the subscribers up. I'm all right, mate. I'm all right. How are you? You have a nice day, Dan the Man? Big Dan the Man? Um, I'm all good, mate. I'm all good. That. That one. Yeah, no worries, Dan. Just let me know um, when you're back. Um, I hope you're having a nice day. Oh, there goes my webcam again. What have you been up to, Dan, when you come back? Let me know. Is that better? There we go. I really, really, really fancy um, Donna kebab and chips today. Right, we're going to gonna cancel that deal. Just ain't going to be able to sign him. Ah, that's annoying. There we go. We've done that, which hopefully means we've got a bigger weight, bigger budget. We've got 33 million. They probably won't let us go for him now because we cancelled the deal. Yeah, okay, let's try adding him as a transfer target. When's his contract expire? 2000, so his contract expires next year. Is he looking to retire at any point? Uh, so he's definitely not going to remain in football once he's finished his playing career, which is fair enough. Not their plans for the future, though, so we might be able to keep him for a year or two. The, the, the dream is still on. The uh, Josh, we've still got a chance. We might have to wait a few days and then wait for uh, Atletico to be okay with us making another offer, and then hopefully we can sign him. But um, it will definitely get shirt sales up, I think. Ah, balls. Uh, why are they? Oh, why have they done that for? Right. Oh, for God's sake. Right, give it a few days. Hopefully it will go away in a few days and we can sign him. Um, add him to the shortlist. Add him to the shortlist. Right, we'll just give it few more days and hopefully we can go for him. Still got plenty of time because the, the transfer window I think is in a couple of weeks time. I think it's like 1st September. Oh, 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 hold, 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 hold the, hold the back page, yeah. Um, right. 25 million plus 25 million in installments maybe? Okay, okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, we can work with that. We might be signing Sun instead. Well, that is a complete turn up for the books. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he only wants 11 month contract. Do you only want 11 month contract? Oh, do you know what? Sod it. We'll figure it out afterwards. He's probably retiring in 11 months, but. So, uh, Josh, we've changed our transfer. We're going to go for Sun instead of Griezmann. But he might go to Liverpool, so nothing is definite. So if we can't get Sun, we'll go back for Griezmann. Fortunately, we can't get both of them. But we could have Sun for this season and then maybe sign Griezmann on a free transfer next season. He'll be a year older, but we'll just, we'll just um, sign him as like a nostalgia signer. Um, you never know. Might make an interesting stream this one if we sign Sun at the end of it. But um, 
still got like 45 minutes to go in the stream. Archie Gray going to Villaval, looks a bit. Muwani going to Liverpool. If, Mu if Muwani goes to Liverpool, they can't. I don't think they'll be able to afford uh, Sun as well. Nazinapi. Gordon and Nappi. We sell Gold Anthony Gordon? No, he's really good. We're not selling. We're not selling him. What am I doing? Yeah, hot tub stream, everybody. I get 100,000 100, subscribers to so get the word out. My, uh, my friend Big Dan will be uh, there with me as well. You get two for the price of one. You've seen it in the chat. He's already agreed to do the hot tub stream with me. Josh, you're a witness, okay? If you're still there, Josh, I think he's probably gone back to work. I'll message you later, Josh, and let you know if, what you missed. Um, right, okay. Yeah. Nearly at the start of the season now. And we get Sun in before the Man City game. He can make his debut at the right time. Come on, why aren't we in it? Why are we not hearing anything about Sun? Well, what's Harry Kane doing? Is he st still doing well at Bayern Munich? I assume so. I'm not sure. It's, uh, he's not for sale, obviously, but... Would he bring in Harry Kane to break the Premiership goal-scoring record one day? Maybe, maybe, maybe not. We can maybe reunite him with Sun if Sun stays there long enough. We could sign in if we can get him. I don't think he'll go to us so. though. Can we reunite Sun and Kane? There you go. That's the next narr narrative. Can we reunite the old, the old uh, gruesome twosome? If our looks of it, I don't think we're signing Sun in time for the Man City game. We might have to wait until after that. Oh, I stand corrected. Oh, we've signed Sun. There you go. We've signed an elite striker who I highly rate. Um, yeah, so there you go. I'm really happy with that. Oh, look at that. He only, only wants, he's only here for 11 months though. That's weird. Is he retiring soon? Send him on a coaching course just in case. I think he'd make, make a good coach, really. Retiring from international football. It doesn't, it doesn't say he's retiring from football in general. He wants to be a manager in the future. Um, yeah. Okay. We signed him, though. I'm happy. There you go. Josh, if you're still there, mate, we've signed Sun. From Spurs. And hopefully he can play in the Man City game. Because he'd play really well on the wing, on the left wing maybe. We'd have Messi on the right, Son on the left. And then Austin Hen or Kumpa up front. So he's got a one year extension. So as long as we play Messi for 25 games, we can still. Uh, keep him for another year, hopefully. As long as he doesn't retire. Right, uh, this is our lineup. Son is not playing. Why is Son not playing? Is he on the bench? Is he not? Oh, no, he's on the bench. We'll leave him on the bench for now. There must be a reason. Right, here's our lineup for the first game of season three in the Premiership. 
We've got Truven making his debut. We've got Kyoto making the debut. We've got the familiar defensive lineup of um, partnership, sorry, of Botman and Diamande. We've got Hartman making his debut as left back. Bruno and Tonali in midfield together. Messi on the right. Brahim Diaz in the middle. Pedro Gonzalez on the left. And Ossiman up front. Let's see if we can do better this season because we, we've, we've spent. Sorry. We spent a fair bit of money. We should be doing better this season. I was annoyed that we only finished fifth last season. All right, so we've got the possession of the ball. First kick of the game. Hotman with a bit of silky dance moves there. Um, I don't think this is going to lead to anything because it's so early in the game, but you never know. Messi with a beautiful ball. Oh! That's that's uh, surprised me. Tonali there with the goal. Yeah, Tonali with the goal. We're top of the Premiership. I oh, know we're not. We were top of the Premiership. Messi with a free kick. Saved by the goalkeeper. Tonali. Corner. Brahim Diaz. We're all over Man City so far, but I mean. So it doesn't mean that they can't, they won't come back and win the game. I think to be really safe against Man City, you've got to score at least three goals to feel safe. They've always got it in them. The problem with Man City is, is in real life, they really are missing De Bruyne and to a lesser extent uh, Haaland as well. Because ha I don't think Haaland scored as many as he did last season, but... Um, right, we've nipped the ball off them. Gonzalez loses. Um, not Gonzalez. Osimhen lost it though. Right now we've got Messi. Messi drives it forward. It's fouled. It's a penalty, maybe. I don't know. It's a penalty. It won't be a penalty. It was outside the box, but well, okay. Let's see. Oh, okay. I'm not complaining. Right, Messi with the penalty. Lines it up. Runs up. Goal for the goat. He's letting me know that you know you've you've made some new players. You signed some new players, but I'm still the head honcho here. He's just letting me know. Um, uh, went come all over the place today. What's going on? Are you just settle. There you go. Right. We're two 0 up against Man City. They're going to get a goal. Yeah, they do. De Bruyne. Just about talking. I was talking about you. Have I added De Bruyne to the shortlist? He's probably not going to come to me. He'll probably retire. He is on the shortlist. He's another player I'd love to have at Newcastle. We'd have to win the Premiership again first, I think, before we had a chance of trying to sign him. I might have to wait until his contract expires. Oh! Oh, what's in him? What are you doing? You did, every, you did the hard bit easy, and then the easy bit hard there. Right, we're still 2-1 up. We need to get another goal, though. So let's demand a bit more. Doing really well at the moment. Goalie passes it out to Hartman. Hartman. Nice little pass. And we've got Brian Diaz who loses the ball. Very frustrating. I feel like Diaz doesn't want to be at the club no more. Maybe I need to look at getting rid of him. A few weeks left. Maybe I'll get rid of him and sign Griezmann and we'll just have, like, five strikers up front. That might work. No, what are you doing? You don't give the ball to Haaland. Ugh. Not, this is not working out as well as we like it to. 2 0 up to now 2 2. I did say that they've got it in. We've got to get at least three goals against Man City to win this game. Oh, well, we've got an injury now. And Ali, we've got Joe Linton on. Ah, oh, it's a frustrating first half. We started really brightly. And then Man City's come back into the game. And they're now the favourites probably to win this game. Osman's not playing very well. Might have to put Sun on, Sun on in a minute. We'll see. See so yeah, what happens with this highlight first. Hartman. Is that Osman? That oh, was a Diaz own goal. That's all right then. It was 3 2 up though. It's fine. I'm going to give it another 10 minutes and probably put Sun on. Put Austin in. Yeah, no, I'm going to put Austin in. I'm going to take Austin in off now. Sun on. 
Son makes his debut. Let's see if he can make it a debut to remember. Right, Pedro Gonzalez is coming off as well because he's knackered. Almiron on for him. Messi. Bruno. Brahim Diaz. The Gonzalez. Back to Brahim Diaz. Loses the ball. Diaz, you are coming off. You're annoying me. Uh, come for can come on for you. And here we go. Man City's going to score here. Oh, thank God for Trubin. Trubin nullifying the strike of Holland. Who else do we need to take off? Keode, maybe? Um, no, oh, we can't make any more subs right. Just got to get on with it now. Hopefully, Kumper and Son and, and Almiron can just extend our lead. Man City in possession now. This is going to end 3 3. Oh, oh, here we go. Son, go on. Oh, come on. Oh, that was frustrating. They're all lined up, ready to score on his debut, and he bloody misses it. Oh, nice little dummy there, Hartman. Oh, that was a beautiful little goal by Hartman. That's what I like to see. Oh, I can breathe now. Whew. I mean, I say that, but Man City might end up winning 5-4, you just don't know. But no, I feel a bit a bit more confident that we've... Uh... Hey, oh, Luton Town, second in the league at the moment. I'm amazed it's still in the Premiership, fair play to him. Who have we got injured? Ah, uh, Peyote. Can we, can we, we can't, can we? No, we can't. Oh. Our first choice right back, we've only just signed, injured. Right, but we won that game. I'm happy with that. We beat top of the... Okay, that's good. Right, so Tonali is out for three months. That is not good. And Coyote is out for five weeks. Great. We've got no money to replace him. Not really. We improve. Oh, can we ask for more transfer budget, please, Mr. Chairman? More wage budget, please? Next game in seven days. Can we convince the board to give us some more money? Do not. Ah. Uh. Not what you need, is it? It's not what you want. Two of your, two of your key players in. Tonali being injured for three months is going to really affect us, I think. Because we're not exactly got loads of central midfielders. In fact, let's have a look who we've got in central midfield. Do this. Uh, defensive midfielders. Central. I'm going to do filter. Go. Unavailable. No. Right. I suppose we've got. Few players like Hartman can play there. Um, Gonzalez can play. Actually, we're not that bad. I mean, Deli Ali. Then again, they're also saying that bloody Messi can. Although that's midfield, isn't it? We need to do defensive mid first. But yeah, we are we are really struggling for defensive midfielders. If if Bruno Gomez gets injured, we're screwed pretty much. And then we're okay central midfielders, we could do better. Um, can I recall anybody? I don't know if I can recall anybody. We uh hold on. Uh let's have a look at uh we could potentially call up somebody from the under twenty ones and stuff. Mbappe, we're gonna rec we're gonna call him up to the senior squad for now. Uh we'll leave him. We'll leave him. So we'll just we'll just call up Mbappe. That will hopefully cover us for now. Yeah, it's a bit annoying. Not on the forest next game. Um, no, we don't want to send him back to the under 21s. Thank you. Right. We've 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 um. Well, I don't know what we did there. I think we really annoyed Messi there. That wasn't good. Come on, give us more. Oh. Yes, I know you've only just given me a budget, but I want more. Give me more. Oh, we'll sod you then. Uh, 
Maybe Deli Alley will have to start playing in midfield. We get really stuck. Um, we will see. Okay, so there's a few players unhappy. Great. Messi, you're playing. I don't understand. Right, I'm just gonna apologize. Positive. There we go. I don't understand why you're kicking off. You 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 played every. You played the one game of the season. Why are you kicking off? That's such a bug on FM. That is. Messi. There we go. He's 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 drops playing for turn. Okay, fine. Oh, for God's sake! That's our left back out now as well. Ah. Oh. Josh, I think you've given me your injury curse from your first season, mate. I've now got all the bloody injuries. Um, hello to anybody new to the Twitch uh, stream. Nice to meet you. Feel free to say hello in the chat room. Much appreciated. I wish that jaunty was in here again. I, I quite enjoyed talking to him the other day. That Dutch, Dutch uh, national team and stuff like that. Jaunty's there. Say hello, my friend. Hopefully I didn't put him off for life when I said um, Holland instead of Netherlands. Nowhere long. Bloody hell, Liverpool, they're not spending the money, aren't they? Have a look at landmarks. Have they been taken over by a bloody billionaire? No. Where's all this money coming from? Liverpool aren't known to spend money. They've got Jose Mourinho in charge or something. Right, um, then. Here's the team for the game against Nottingham Forest. So we've got Liberamenta as right back. Ruben and Goal. Diamande and Botman centre defence. Dante makes his debut. Bruno Gomez in midfield with Joe Linton. Messi on the right. Pedro Gonzalez in the middle. Son making his full debut on the left. And Osim N up front on his own. So yeah. Anybody new to the Twitch stream now? Let's just join. We are currently starting. We just played um, briefly played our first game of season three. We beat Man City four two. Bit of an entertaining game back and forth. And we've, we've made some decent signings in um, Sun from Spurs and also um, uh, KO Day from Fiorentina, who then got injured. Um, so that's not ideal. But we've also, like I said, we signed Trugan as well, goalkeeper who's really highly rated. And we signed, oh, lucky Messi. Um, we signed Diego Costa as well. So we were, we're pretty good for goalkeepers now. That's the one position we were really struggling with last season. So I think hopefully that'll make a big difference. Um, but yeah, we've got no money now, so I don't think we're going to sign anyone else. We nearly signed Griezmann, but we, we um, didn't have enough money at the time to sign him. And then when we did, we um, Sun come available, who was a bit younger, so we went for him. But Sun's only signed a 11-month contract, which is quite concerning. It doesn't. I don't think. That, I think that means he's only going to be there and then retire. But yeah, one nil up. Diamande scores. Um, Son gives it to Dante. Dante now. Showing a lot of energy in this first game, which is quite good. That was a terrible pass by you, Bruno. Oh, we've got the ball against Son. Oh, what a goal by Joe Linton. This is why we didn't get rid of Joe Linton. For moments like this, the crowd absolutely love him. Absolutely love him. Right, Messi with the free kick now. Looks up, tips it in. Livermento with a lovely little goal. 3 0 up, and 28 minutes played. Great team performance. This feels like uh, a team that can definitely win the Premiership. If I win the Premiership with Newcastle this season, then I probably will do one more season on Twitch with Newcastle because. I want to win the Champions League because I've already won the Premiership. I won it in, I was lucky to win it in season one. 
And then season two, we kind of just didn't really do. We got knocked out of the Champions League in the quarterfinals, and we only got a top five finish. So I don't. I think that means we're not getting Champions League football this year. I could be wrong, but I don't think we are. I think we got Europa League. So we're we're not going to be wanting to. We're not going to bother with the Europa League really. Our aim is to basically try and win the Premiership this season, or get Champions League at least. If we get a top four, I'll do another season. Messi, Libramento. I just hope Messi stays here for another season. If I do another season, it'd be it, it, I wouldn't I wouldn't enjoy it as much if he wasn't there. If I, if I get rid of Messi, I'm going to have to sign somebody like Harry Kane or something to make it interesting for me. Or Griezmann, maybe. But I think Griezmann's not good enough these days. So Linton now. Passes it to Pedro Gonzalez. Cross to Livermento. Livermento gets tackled, but Messi picks the ball up. Turns Livermento with the cross, but gets blocked by the, goal, uh, by the defender. Right. Son is knackered. We'll replace him with Almond. Corner. Dante, Pedro Gonzalez now. Puts it across the Libramento and that's the end of that. Okay. Nathan Phillips is coming on now for uh, Bruno Gomez. Hopefully he'll just keep the, the game all nice and tidy and make sure that we don't concede any goals. Nearly, nearly conceded them. Change these up. Okay. Messi looks tired, but we can't take him off now because we run out of subs. We'll just play the rest of this game up now. Hope we don't concede too many. Hopefully we'll keep a clean sheet. Ah, uh, why did I, I jinxed? I think I might potentially jinx this then. But anyway, VAR comes to our rescue. No, it doesn't. That's annoying. I obviously jinxed us there. Oh. No. Oh. Uh, I thought we were going to get another goal then. Almiron. Oh, nearly. Pedro Gonzalez with the corner. Um. Okay. That was a great save by their goalie then. Literally hit him in the face by the looks of it. I have been hitting. I have been hit in the face by a, a football before. It does bloody hurt. Right, got the corner. Kun Kuna. Oh, Kuna. Kuna. I was gonna say Kuna. It sounds less dodgy if I say Kuna and not Kuna. So uh, yeah, we'll call him Kuna. Nice, that's uh, another win for us. Two wins out of two, that's what we like to see. Oh, here we go, more injuries. So we've got Gamera's out for a few days, we've got Osimhen out for two weeks. Injuries are just piling up, ridiculous. Right, we've got Liverpool next, so we're bloody, that's going to be a tough game. Um. Do that. Try and get these few days out of the way. Yes, it does. Bloody, uh, we might have to play Messi up front. We got, Kuna, we got Kuna. Kuna, I'm going to call him Kuna. Definitely Kuna. Saying Kuna sounds racist. I say Kuna, and we're going to play Kuna up front, or Son up front, or Messi up front. We've got our options. Not an out and out striker though. I don't think. Um, Kuna can play there though. I think he's more of an a, a inside forward or attacking midfielder. Right. Um, then meeting all these and meeting. There we go. And this meeting, move on, move on, move on, and meeting. So on that was. Uh, in yet to like more games, okay. 
Right. I don't know why he's not playing in the first place, but I suppose we've got Botman and that in defence. Diaz is out for nine, five to ten days now as well. Any more injuries? Diamande got into the team of the week, Premiership team of the week. Zarbiz is not happy now. Why are you not happy? Let down. Oh, okay. We're going after David Meres. Meres, are we? Speculation. We haven't signed him yet, so what are you worried about? I haven't even made an offer. Being such a baby. The footballers pampered. Most footballers would love to just sit on the bench and get paid 100 grand a week. Thank you to anybody that's uh, stuck with me for the whole stream. I appreciate it. That's Josh, or I think Josh had to go back to work though, to be honest. But uh, yeah, thank you to Joe and Dan who have come along and Bilko as well. Uh, they're my real life friends, so I appreciate the support. Hopefully, eventually, I can get other people that I don't know watching me. Because, like the other day, I had a really nice conversation with a man from the Netherlands um, on here. Nice chat about their national team and PSV Eidenhoven and stuff like that. So that was nice. Bloody hell, I'm on injured for two weeks now as well. We're going to have no players fit at this rate to play this game. We are scraping the barrel at this rate. Who's after? Yeah, well, yeah, you are. You're confident, but you're not. Nobody wants to go for you. They want to go for loan offers for you, and that ain't happening. Unless you were so short, it is in uh on our in our squad balance. If you're going, you're not going on loan. Sorry, not happening. Oh, I forgot we got Calvert Lewin, so we can play. Oh, he's just got injured anyway. There's only two or three days, but he won't be able to play this game. But I suppose in the short term we can play Calvert Lewin up front as well. I completely forgot we signed him. What happens when you sign loads of players? You get you forget them all. Um, right, Liverpool game coming up now. Wonder if Joe's here. Joe's a Liverpool fan. He'll probably be watching this and cheering on Liverpool. Right, it's going to be quite a different team, I think this one is. We've got Trubin in goal, Livermento is right back, Diamande and Botman in defence, Dante as left back, so at least the defence and the goalkeeper is the same. Bruno's still there as well, Joe Linton's back in the team, Messi in the right, um, Gunnar in the middle, and Pedro Gonzalez on the left, and then Son up front. That's all right, that's a good team, that is. I'm happy with that. All right, we've got another half an hour to go. Um, Robertson there. Oh, great save by our goalkeeper. Um, yeah, you never know. I might read a few pages of um, this new book I got given by SurpriseShirts.co.uk. So uh, I might, in between when we're holidaying, when we've got two weeks of holiday, I can read a couple of one or two pages, work our way through the book. The little goal there by Pedro Gonzalez, but is it going to be allowed? Probably not by the looks of it. Yeah, I will be checking it. Bruno. Oh, Pedro, Bruno, Bruno got the assist. Pedro scored the goal. 1 0. How's that, how's that feel, Joe? Your team's losing. Oh, 
Uh, I nearly jinxed myself there. Right. Got a goal kick and we intercept it. No, we can't. It is out. There we go. I'm actually quite happy how the transfer window worked out in the end because I think signing Kuna and um, sorry Kuna and Son probably been better than signing Griezmann. Griezmann's just a uh, nostalgia reasons because I don't think he would have made much of an impact playing for us. He was only three stars, whereas Kuna and Son are like four and a half stars still. Obviously Kuna's twenty six as well, so we still got a lot of time left in the tank. Even Son at thirty four, still a really good player. Oh look at that. Look at the devil, Matthias. I'm calling him Matthias, probably easier. Matthias with the goal. This by Joe Linton. Brazilian boys linking up nicely. We've got quite a few Brazilian boys at the moment and Portuguese players, haven't we? It's a terrible miss by Salah. Can we get Salah? Can we sign Salah? No, we can't. A lot of these Galactico players like Mo Salah would love to uh yeah um would love to sign but just don't think we'd be able to sign them. Just never see I never see Mo Salah leaving Liverpool on the FM unless it's to Saudi Arabia. Don't ever see him going to Spain. Anyway, if we're two one up. Top of the league if we carry on with this victory. We're gonna demand more, hopefully that'll work in our favour. Sometimes it won't. Dante's not playing very well, but we haven't really got anybody else that can play as left back, so we'll have to. Oh, we have. We've got Hartman. Um, but I think Hartman might have to go in place. He's going to have to replace Bruno. Um, all right, we've got the ball. Go Linton. Dante. Oh. Right. Mm, yeah, what's that going to do? Yeah. Um, fine. I oh, know. I'll leave it. Right. Livermento. Ooh, Livermento's uh, doing well for me this season, I think. Played a few games now. He's starting to do well. Confidence is up. Oh, that is not good. Mo Salah, you can jog on. Go. You're probably laughing right now. Joe's probably gone. They're probably all gone. I don't even know. Whoever's in left in the chat room on Twitch, please just message me and let me know who's there. Yes, go on, Joe Linton. You're showing Liverpool we are not a walk we're not getting walked over this season. We want to win the premiership. How about Lewin? We'll take off Dante and we'll put on uh, Mitchell. The yeah, actual just have to play there. Swap him with Botman in a minute, actually. Botman can play left back. So, actually, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to put Hartman on for Inyecho and Inyecho for Botman. There we go. Nice bit of tactical decision there. Sets us up nicely now. Your Monday might need to come off there. We haven't got any more defender players. Oh, there we go. Look at that for a bloody tactical decision. Paid off nicely. 4-2 up. Take a 4-2 picture over Liverpool. Thank you very much. Joe Linton's napping, so he's going to come off now. Who are we putting on for Joe Linton? I do not know. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. I got it back. Look at that. that was a beautiful ball there, but unfortunately Calvert-Lewin couldn't do much with it. The quality's gone down when we're playing Calvert Lewin. I don't think he's good enough. That's offside anyway. Right, so we've got Coot on. Ali, Coot, Coot, Coot. That Coot is not central midfielder, so we'll swap them to about. And we'll put. No, 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 that's wrong. Um, there. Them to about? No, that doesn't work. We'll leave this up. There we go. I'll do. Right, let's just uh, see this game out now. Don't want, we don't want Liverpool to score here because it'll make it a bit stressful for me. Right. Come on. Nine minutes of added time. Jesus. 
Christ. Making us work for it, didn't they? That was a terrible pass. Um, they're going to make the last few minutes. Uh, no, they're not. Thank God. Right, you can shoot. You can do them type of shots all day long if they ain't going in. Right, in HO. Where are you going? Oh, I got worried then. Botman. To Pedro Gonzalez. I think he's offside. We'll play on. Messi. Don't know what's happening here. Oh, okay. That's fine. As long as we don't concede, I'm not bothered. Okay. Hopefully that's it. That's it. There we go. Great result. In fact, I'm going to come off in about 11 minutes. I'm going to finish up at 4 o'clock. This stream will end a little bit earlier than usual. But, um, yeah. I've, had, I've been talking for the last... I did a couple of videos earlier. I'm a bit tired. So, I will be back on tomorrow, though. Um, hopefully, um, what I'll do tomorrow is I'll do a little bit longer tomorrow instead to make up for it. So I'll be back on at 2 o'clock. I'm still going to be in for another 10 minutes, so we've got another game or two yet. Um, but yeah, I'll be back on at 2 o'clock tomorrow and playing until about half 4 maybe. Nobody wants to go for Botman because they want to pay the money for him, so they're not getting him. I'll happily take... Right, so this is annoying. We've got 15 days left. So I'm just going to holiday. This. But I'll uh, read out a little... So this book here is a idiot's guide. It's called Unfit and Improper Persons. It's called An Idiot's Guide to Own a Football Club by Kevin Day, Kieran Maguire, and Guy Kilty. Uh, Gary Lineker quotes it, quoted here and saying, A very funny book that tackles some serious football issues. And it's from the Price of Football podcast. So, um, yeah, we'll read it at some point. Um, read a few pages maybe here and there. Yeah. Just going to sit back here now and wait for this. Transfer window's got to finish up as well, so we might get some surprise when we come back off holiday. I'll go quiet, don't worry about it, I'm still here, I'm just potting around, have a look on the internet, see if anything's happened. Feel free to go and have a cigarette break, toilet break, or go and get yourself a drink if anybody is still watching. And like I said, I do appreciate you support. Feel free to check me out on Twitter, Lutra FM. If you just search for Lutra FM on Twitter, you should find me on there. Um, my voice is getting all croaky now because I feel like I talk too much. Yeah. Um, don't know what else to say, really. Yeah, follow me on YouTube as well. Uh, this will take a while because it's working its way through the transfer window, which takes ages. Uh, yeah, hopefully no major surprises when we come back. Um, let's have a look at the latest football news. Glad to see Jane and Sancho out the door, but... Annoyingly, that if there's no future like transfer fee, so they'll just take him on loan. We're only, they're only going to pay us six million when his contract's up. because it's we've been shortchanged in that deal. But I think they just want him out out the locker room, really. Uh, nine days left before we come back. Might just do this. Yeah, I'm going to do this Southampton game and I think I'm going to call it a day. And we 
boost and my voice is more than anything. <sighs> Dragging this solid, ain't it? Um, yeah, so anybody on the watching on Twitch now, um, we've got Reach Time. I'll be starting a YouTube series with Wraith Rovers because I basically ordered a mystery football shirt from Surprise Shirts um, and .co.uk, sorry, and they sent me a pink uh, Wraith Rovers away shirt. So uh, it was my fault because I said to them, if you've got any pink shirts, I would appreciate it. So they did listen to me. Some people feel like I've been shortchanged a bit because it cost me £27. But it's not, it's not necessarily, I'm, I'm not doing it to, you know, make a profit. I'm doing it as a, an idea for streaming content. So it's worth the money that I paid. I mean, it could have been worse. I could have paid 60 quid and that. So, yeah, I'm, like, I'm okay with that. I'm all right with that. I'll probably use them again as well. Um, whenever I get a bit stuck with when it comes to content. Uh, are we back yet? No, but we're nearly back. Yeah, so we're gonna, gonna play this game. Now, after I go through all these inboxes. He had some offers for Mbappe, but luckily the, um, the DOF rejected it. Same with uh, Livermento. I'd have been fuming if we got rid of Livermento. Uh, oh, we had a bloody nice offer for... No, that wasn't big enough. I don't think I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have accepted that anyway. Right, we win the. I win the uh, manager of the month, which is good. Yeah, of course, you're unhappy, but you know it is what it is. They still have room. They can go. They can if they if you know if they're not interested, they'll they'll try and sign you in January. They had all bloody window to go for you, and they wait until the last day of the season. They can book her off. Liverpool sign another player. Ronnie go there. Did Ronnie? Ronnie went to Arsenal. Oh, for God's sake! Oh, that's right. Um. Right, so transfer deadline closed without any two anything dramatic, which is good. So we're just going to get these done quickly now. Right, sell players uh, should let well whatever. Um, Albert Lewin has been recalled to the England squad to replace Harry Kane. Obviously, Harry Kane's injured. For God's sake, Dante injured in training or at international level. Hartman gets his first match. Oh, ooh, we had a, like a, a, an offer for Messi. We aren't selling him. Oh, oh, they were desperate to sign him, weren't they? I'm so glad I didn't have like um, it on auto accept or something. I'd have had, I'd have got, I'd have got rid of Messi and Botman and the other player now. Sorry if I sound a bit quiet, my voice is uh, starting to crackle a bit, to be honest, it's hurting my throat. Fruits is out for three months, great. That's that done, so we'll just play this game now, and we'll call it a day. Um, sorry for confusing you, by the way, wearing an Everton shirt. I forgot to pop over the shirts in the 
And I was recording the videos early before I did my Twitch stream, so I apologize for that, for the confusion. Right then, so last game of the stream, we've got Ruben in goal, Libramento is right back, Diamande in defense with Inicio, Hartman as a left back, Hotman in defense in midfield with Joe Linton, Messi is right back, Pedro Gonzalez uh, there, Gordon on the left, and Kuna up front. Right then, Southampton are in uh, possession here. Bazuna taking the mick there a bit. Oh, good shot, but we luckily saved it. Very good goalkeeper, he's true, and he's been really good for us so far. I think he's one of the main reasons why we're uh, doing so well this season, even though it's only three games, but we won all three of them. Hopefully we can win this one as well. Diamande, Joe Linton, back to Diamande, cross to Botman, Botman back to Diamande, see if we can turn this into something, and more looks of it, yes, get in, going to scores, but see what the uh, VAR decides to do, because obviously referees want all the attention on them, goal disallowed, screw you referee, screw you VAR. Uh, come on, let's get a goal. Gordon Hotman. Building up slowly from the back. Nietzsche going to pass it forward, decides to pass it to Diamande. It's uh, probably lack of competence in him. Hotman now loses the ball. What are you are you drunk, Botman? What's going on? Right, their goalie completely messes up. Gordon makes them punish them for it. Um, halfway through the first half, not the best of first half, so I won't, I won't uh, lie. Could have done better. Right, we've got possession now. Linton drives it in, and he scores. Corner to us. Messi to take the corner. What can he do? The goat of all time. Lovely little cross, but we head it over. Messi scores. I missed that because I wasn't paying attention, so I'm just going to look at that again. Right. Yep. Yeah. So, uh... We intercepted, Messi drove forward, and he shot, and he went in. What do you expect from Messi, the GOAT? 1-0 up. Still top of the league, still undefeated. Got four wins out of four. First half done. More of that in the second half, hopefully. Right, we've got a free kick. Messi floats it in. It has passed. Yeah. Right, so uh, still one nil off. Chelsea also, Chelsea and Tottenham also got four wins out of four so far. AOD is back in the team. Gordon is napping, so we'll take him off. Right, let's see out this game now. Let's not concede in the last few minutes. I've been the better team. Be stupid now to concede. Oh, here we go. A good tackle, but uh, Ryan was on the wall, wasn't it? 
And as I said, we've got four wins. In our fourth with 10 points. Oh well. At least we didn't lose. Bit of a rubbish uh, end to the stream. But we, uh, we get on with it. Anyway, that's me done. Thank you to um, Bilko, Josh, and Big Dan, and Joe as well. Thank you for contributing. Um, send my love out to you all. And um, thank you to anybody else that was watching briefly. Feel free to always um, check me out on Twitch and YouTube as well. If you search for Lucha FM on both of them, and also Twitter as well. You'll see me on there. I usually post when I'm going to go streaming. Yeah, anyway, I'll leave you to it. My throat is a bit sore. So, yeah, enjoy the rest of your evening. All the best. Cheers. Bye.